Garden with Carrie Hefner and today we are talking about the rain and uh, what it does to our landscapes and uh, just me personally my uh, yard is a little bit lower mm -hmm. in the neighborhood and mm -hmm. so this rain just sits and it actually causes my yard to to even sink lower. Wow. So it's, it's kind of yeah, been an the, issue. <laughs> uh, one of the pleasures of life in Louisiana. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I was, uh, saw Walker as I came into the station and he was telling me about the rainfall we've had today. So what we want to talk about for this segment, which by the way is sponsored by Sunny Panzico's Garden Mart locations in Monroe and West Monroe. We want to talk about today um, all the water and how it affects our landscape. And so uh, we'll uh, put some points up here. I want to talk about the first thing I want to talk about is field capacity, which an abbreviated definition of that would be the moisture content of soil after ex the uh, excess water has uh, drained away. And you might just say it's the amount of water left in the soil after all the rain has come and gone, basically. Mm -hmm. and and so clay soils and highly organic soils like muck soils, there's an order of soils called histosols that are highly organic. Those are going to have a very high field capacity. Sandy soils are going to have a very low field capacity, meaning they're not going to retain water for as long as high clay soils. And around here we do have soils that have pretty good clay content. So this graphic shows what I'm talking about. Um, the water retention uh, is affected by largely soil particle size and then the spaces in between those particles which is the which are the pore spaces, smaller particles, uh, soils composed of smaller particles will have smaller pore spaces and will tend to hold more water longer as opposed to uh, soils composed of particles that are larger like sand particles for example. Uh, those will, those have larger pore spaces and water can percolate right on through so mm -hmm. not a problem. Now in saturated soils uh, we can have two consequences. We can have plant roots that don't get oxygen we say they go anoxic and the plant literally drowns the root system needs oxygen and can't get it also with winds like we had last night especially in saturated soils top heavy trees are going to be very easily uprooted so that's a concern that's why folks it's always important to have trees in your landscape especially large trees properly pruned and uh, as we go into the spring when the, our weather patterns are more uncertain that's going to be something to think about so dealing with frequent rains like we might be doing this spring, just uh, keep a couple things in mind. First of all, think about drainage off of your landscape or lateral movement of water. If you live on a slope, this is probably not an issue, but if you live in an area that is relatively flat, maybe think about having some work done so your landscape drains uh, a little better. Drainage in lawns and gardens, that's just simply uh, vertical movement down percolation. Mm -hmm. uh, keep your soil work, keep your lawn aerated. In clay soils add organic matter so water has some place to go. And then also keep trees properly pruned and maybe in a future segment as we go through the spring we'll talk about the concept of installing rain gardens in landscapes as a place to trap all that runoff and the plants can get rid of the water for us. So something to think about. We had a neighbor that did that and uh, it's actually working for. Wow very nice. So it's something to think about for sure. So. And uh, I did not know that about the trees, that the, uh, the tree can, can yeah. fall if especially if it's top heavy wind can uh, wind can pick it up and down she'll go so okay well Carrie we have a lot to talk about because yep. we're also going to talk about the master gardeners <laughs> yeah. and the program that was can't